Is Thor Financial pulling the rug out from under all of our feet? Well, today I woke up, saw Thor was down over 20 something percent, all the way down to $110. Now looking more into this, no, I don't think this is a rug pull and I'll explain why right now. So why did the price of Thor crash a little bit today? Why is it coming up? And what is Thor doing this week that is so crucial to its price and future performance. So if we actually go to Thor and the Thor app, app.thor.financial, this is where you can run all of your nodes and actually buy Thor nodes. You can see right now, I only have one node at the lowest tier. And right now my rewards are actually pretty decent as the rewards haven't gone down yet. So right now my rewards are at 0.1. So that value Thor price today is around 118. That's only around $11, but I've only had this node for maybe less than a week. And I'm sure any of you that have been following Thor have seen this, that the rewards are actually being reduced moving forward. And the first reduction to the Odin node will happen in just two days on February 8th. And then from there, it's kind of rolling. You can see throughout the month of February through the 1st of March, all of the rewards for each tiered node are going to be less than what they are now. And you can see here all the current tiers and what the rewards are, and then up above how those are changing. And they are going down significantly, but there is a reason for that. So you can think of Thor as trying to invest in phases. So up front, they want people to come in, buy nodes, and have all that cash up front so they can leverage it against other investments. And this comes as today that they're actually allowing the community to vote for their 10th treasury investment. So you can see here in the discord, and if you do have Thor nodes or are interested in Thor, I definitely recommend joining the discord. This is where everything happens, all the votes for investments, any news announcements, etc. So you can see here, there are three options to be voted on today by the Thor community. The first is Boo Spooky Swap. Ops, the second is Harmony, and the third are Gala Nodes. I won't go into these three possible investments by the Thor Treasury right now, but it is important if you are invested into Thor, have Thor Nodes, or are just holding a Thor token, that you go and actually read all of this and vote, because that influences how much money you're gonna be making in the future. Now, if you didn't see my last video on Thor, I actually went through this spreadsheet I have right here for the first tier Heimdall and third tier your Thor nodes for all of the Thor nodes. And I showed you if you had five nodes, what your passive income would actually be. And these actual numbers that I went through are going off of the new rewards. So these are the newer reduced rewards. And you can see the ROI per year, if Thor price stays the same as it was when you bought Thor, it would be over a thousand and over 2000% for both of these node tiers. And what you're really banking on here is buying Thor nodes early and having Thor price gradually increase as the investment pool of the Thor treasury buys more investments and grows. Now this definitely is not a risk-free investment by any means. It is a pretty high risk if you ask me, just because the community is so young and Thor is such a new project as you can see. So if we go back to coin market cap and just look at the Thor price over the past year, obviously Thor has not been around for very long. As I just said, December is really when it launched. And from there it's gone up. It saw a big crash all the way down to around $15, $16. And right now it's kind of gone back up and down around 120 ish dollars. Now what's really going to be interesting over the next month is seeing what Thor price will do because of the reduction of rewards. Personally, I'm gonna be monitoring this every single day and I'm gonna be looking for dips. Honestly, I almost bought another Thor note today at the dip and I might still do it. I'm still thinking, I'm gonna see how the vote goes later in the Discord community for the 10th investment for the treasury. And if I like it, I think I might buy a new node. But yes, if we go back to the week's view, if this does end up going down to around $100 for a Thor, I think I might buy in more because the passive income that Thor can give you and the returns are just pretty big and they're pretty nice. One thing I will recommend if you are looking at buying one of these Thor nodes is really doing your research, 
understand how the Avalanche blockchain works and how crypto works in general before you do this. And if you are investing any money into Thor, I think it should be money that you're willing to just throw away and lose. Because at any point, the price of Thor could go to zero, the creators of Thor could cash out and take all the money. Now I think that's pretty unlikely to happen because kind of the leader of Thor is known. He is KYC or know your customer. Um, he is identified. A lot of these crypto projects that go to zero and get rug pulled, none of the owners of them or none of the creators are actually known. That's what makes Thor good. And I think the roadmap for Thor is also very, very good. You can see it in their Discord as well. One other cool thing I like about Thor is all of their investments are actually here in their Discord and you can see each one. And sorry if my uh, Discord is being a little slow. It's been a little laggy with the video recording today, but you can see all the way since the beginning on January 5th when they've started investing um, with their treasury money that we're actually giving them via the nodes we buy. They're showing you all the transactions and what they're buying. So you can see 100 grand in time. That investment probably didn't work out for them, I'm assuming, but you can see then 150 in strong nodes, which is a huge investment. I love that investment. Um, and then all the way through, obviously their ninth investment just happened yesterday in DAG. Um, I will try to cover that in a future video. I won't go in depth today, but you can see all of these transactions are trackable. So if you open the link for the transaction, you can see the actual transaction, how much was bought, and that they're actually using this treasury money for good and to grow the project. One last disclaimer I do wanna say about Thor if you are looking to invest is that when you buy one of these nodes right now, it is a non-refundable price. So when you're buying a node, you're actually buying an RPC endpoint, which in the future will actually start doing validations on the blockchain. Now at this moment, you can't trade these RPC endpoints, you can't sell them. I think that is going to be something in the future that Thor nodes and other nodes such as StrongBlock are going to do. Um, meaning that there's going to be a finite amount of nodes in the future. And if say I wanted to get in and buy another node, I would have to go trade someone. So basically I would say, hey look, Nick has a Heimdall node, I want a Heimdall node, here's what I'm gonna offer for that node. Again, this could be very lucrative if you have a bunch of nodes and that ends up happening in the future where you can sell them to other people. I think if that does happen, it will skyrocket the price of these nodes. But for right now, I'm gonna see how my node does in the next few weeks to months. I'll probably do either a weekly or monthly update on my Thor node and I might have more nodes in the near future, we'll just have to wait and see, but I do plan on compounding this node every time I have the chance to. This is my first true node-based passive income. I would love to get in on strong block, but it is a little bit too expensive right now just for my risk tolerance and how I have my investment spread over not only crypto, but the stock market among other things. So don't worry, I don't think Thor is being rug pulled just yet, and hopefully it will never get rug pulled in the future, but we will be tracking the price over the next month, and I'll be sure to update all of you. If you guys wanna learn more about the basics of Thor nodes, how they work, be sure to go click this video right here.